Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Now we are still building our main base. Well, we've got sort of a large part of a room. Um, uh, we're still running on two batteries there. I have put up some more solar panels. Uh, so I've got a few more up there to try and get us some power. I have put up some ventilation that goes nowhere and I've put up some lights which are not connected to anything as well. So um, well, it is pretty dark in here so I might hook up those lights. That might be a, a bit of a plan to go through first. I do have a transformer. Um, I'll put that... I don't know. There will do. It's temporary. We'll be fine. Uh... Let's get some light in here so we can see what we're doing. And um, then we can get going. Now I thought we might, well now we've got the printer going, we've got the power going, we might want to work on our production. So we've got um, uh, got production. Um, so I, well I spend a lot of time mining still, so let's just uh, put an end to that, shall we? Uh, First up, lights. So we can get some deep miners. We might be able to get a an Amy up to get us some ice. And that should get us going for all the ore we can handle. Uh, but lights will be a nice quality of life. Upgrade. We have light. Uh yep. It's long arms. Uh, just as the sun comes up. That's awesome timing. Thank you, sun. Uh, right. Switch that light off. That's better. I can see. And that's probably using up now 50 watts. See, that's another 300 watts of power that we're using. Yeah, look. Just switch on the lights. That's, um, that's noticeable. Hmm. But anyway, so in here we've got our power. We, well, we might want to get our our oxygen intake for power. Oxygen intake is going to take a while to fill up so we might go with that one first. Uh, so you back I can go. I need oxygen in this room. I need oxygen out here. If this is going to be my greenhouse out here I'll certainly need oxygen out here and I've got the wrong stack of stuff I wanted frames. We'll grab uh, more than two. There we go. So if this is going to be greenhouse up out here, um, it would be nice to be able to have our oxygen supply nice and close to all of this. So somewhere centrally located. Um, but it's got to be far enough away from everything else that's venting pollution. Uh, so... We could put something over here. It'll be central to everything I build out here and all of that stuff. And hopefully far enough away from our furnace, which I will eventually build, and our centrifuge. If I make this my pollution side of the base, so I can build my tanks and everything over here, then all the crap. I can sort of dump out uh, over that side. Uh, that might be the way to do it. Uh, now, I want some more iron frames. Cheats. Yeah, not you, not you. There's a random one of them. I should probably just grab some uninsulated tanks. I'll probably do it. I need them, I'll need deep pipes. I'll need some of them and steel sheets. I need some electrum by the looks of it. Um, steel sheets. Uh, yeah, grab me a hundred of them. You're on the way. Ah. Uh, Okay, so if I um, steal some, uh, 
There we go. Now I got three. Weld up these ones. Move me weld up. There we go. Maybe a charger for the batteries. Uh, now for you. I put you in the middle there. Put up two tanks. Probably won't go a big one. Not just because I don't have enough parts. Uh, let's put up the railing, get that out of your pocket. You can go there. Now I want a vent. I'll put this over this side. Large one. Yeah, one of those ones might do. Uh, now I need pipes and and a tool. That one. No. Screwdriver. Of course, you put pipes in with a screwdriver. What was I thinking? Uh, it depends on the pipes, doesn't it? Uh, switch that on. I need to get oh, I'll need to get power in there. Uh, pipes. Let's just get the pipes done. Uh, you, you. Now need to ugh, too fat to fit through there. I need to take that all the way over to the side to dump it out. Ah, uh, so I'll need some drains. Uh, let's just kick it all down that way. And let's use the walkway. That's what it's there for. Uh, okay. Frames. Yep. Pipes. Those vents do suck in from a fair old radius. Yeah. Put you out to say here somewhere. Oops, you're in the way now. Uh, no, go away. You come here. Right. I need to weld them up. Um, those are drains. I need drains. Uh, maybe four. This will probably take a good few days to actually fill all this stuff up, so uh, yeah, the sooner we get it up, the better. And that'll do us. So I need my steel sheets and my drains. Whee! Uh, how are we doing? We got some of them. Uh, drain. Grab me. Whoops. Four of them. That'll do us. Well, oh, my welder again. Yep. Whoops. You. Oh, I've not hooked up those solar panels. I'd better do that. They're not doing me any good sitting there doing nothing. Ah, oh, I made some wind turbines too, that's right. I remember now. Uh, what do I need? It's uh, cables, isn't it? And struct. Nice. Now, that was power over here, so I'm going to hook all you up get you to power it here uh, which I don't have ah oh, well 
let's uh oops you welder cables screwdriver you're good yeah i need some heavy cables uh i'll need to hook you up so i need to get power over to here uh my drains uh, let's well we got sheets let's just uh keep expanding and did i say new battery charger that might be handy too okie dokie oh okay we're fully charged well maybe there's not a rush on those solar panels 29 28 that'll do us uh, now got you got you and my trains we've got my trains got to go over here because uh, I'm going to be liquefying all the carbon dioxide and all the pollutants, so we've got to have a way to get rid of it before all the pipes explode. Right, that'll do you. Well, oh, well, I was up there. I should fire up those solar panels, shouldn't I? Even though my power's good. My wind turbines, so I've got power at night time. Yoink! Now you you're done. Thirty five is probably not going to get me there. And some glass might be handy too. Uh, do -do -do. Uh, yeah, probably going to run out. Definitely going to run out. Right, need more of them too. Uh, I haven't got any. Right, but all our pipes are done, our tanks are done, the vent is done. I need to get power to it. Oh, I just used up all my heavy power cables. Well done. Uh, okay. Give me a couple of stacks of them. Alrighty. Now it's night time. I need to be able to tell when to switch that thing on. Uh, so... I need to, like we did last time, I'll take the signal from the solar sensor, which is on the green cable, and I should use, oh, that'll put it onto the yellow cable. I want it onto the red cable. Um, so I need to move that to hook to the red cable. Uh, if I move green cable, get the red cable past the green cable, you bring it along the roof, that's the yellow cable, um, or I could transfer it to the yellow circuit, then transfer it to the red circuit, via the, oh crap the data's on that side, uh, via the memory. I can send it out through the memory. Um, okay, so that's a bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but uh, we can do that. And I've also got to get a solid generator up there. Can I make one of them? Probably not. Sorters. Maybe not. Uh, but anyway, I'll need to get it. Or did I put it up? I don't remember now. I did put it up there. Okay, it's up there. It's connected. So I'll need to be able to switch that on when it's ready. Uh, and I'll need to know when it's run out of coal. Uh, okay. 
What are you doing? You're not done yet? Alright, we can go do this while we're waiting. Now, I want... Yay. Grab you. Nah, it's not the one we want. We want this one first. Import you. Now, like we did on the last time round, we wanted to load our vertical angle. And I can just save that to the DB, hou DB housing. DB housing. Um, output 1, which was the power. We want to do channel 0. R0, which is just the vertical angle. Uh, that should be all we have to do. Um, so if I export you, I don't really have any way of seeing it, but uh, that should be transmitting the vertical angle on channel 0 on the yellow cables. Now I want to take it from there and put it to the memory. Uh, which I can do from that one. Uh, oops, um, import it first. Import you. Right, so I can do that anywhere. All I have to do is load from any device on there. Uh, DB, uh, connection zero, we should read uh, channel zero. I should probably say what I'm going to read it into, shouldn't I? Load it into R0, channel 0, and I should just save that to the memory. Um, uh, memory, logic memory, I have uh, oh, connection and connection. Okay, well I want to write the connection. It'd be handy if they labelled connection and other connection. So we've got... Yeah, we've got two logic connections. Well, ideally, I'm probably going to left to right. Um, so if that's zero, so we'll write to zero. Well, I guess we'll write to zero and find out, won't we? Also, uh, a save to memory. I've not got the memory set up. I have not got memory set up. Alias the mem memory to D1 and Alias the generator D2. Right, so the memory, uh, memory zero, it was the left one. We'll say zero and we'll have to test that to find out. Uh, save memory zero. Oops, channel zero. R0. Uh, zero. Uh, the UI doesn't seem to like using using the channels for those ones. It shows up as an error, but um, I suppose we'll put it in there and see if we get an error. And we do get an error. <laughs> it's an error on 19. Oh, because I haven't set the things up. Right. Yes. I want the memory, which is the logic memory and the solid fuel generator. Right, reset you, switch you on, and we're happy. Now that should be putting the vertical angle out to this cable here. Um, should be. If I put something up there to test that, it might tell me. Uh, oh, yoink, I'll take you. Uh, now where were you? Wind turbines. That's the wrong way, these ones. I do have a ladder going up there, I could use that. Yeah. <laughs> um... You, you, Doink. All right, now you're connected. And you're doing sweet FA. Oh, yes, glass. Waste tank caution. And a waste tank. 
Uh, I'll need this. Um, where are we? If I put... I could put something here. Uh, grab you. Put a console on there. I guess I'll need to put a chip on here, won't I? Uh, I can read... Read uh, whatever channel is and put it on there. So we can just check and make sure it is there. Uh, so I'll need some more of you. Go there, you go there. And my computer's the one I'm missing. Uh, I was doing something. Okay, I had to get cable over there. Um, well, my production is not making much progress, is it? Okay, so if I get a console... You can use that. One of them. A housing. Right, we just call you a test test display. That'll work for us. Now if I read from channel zero on that circuit and um, uh, and then write it to that write it to that um, that display I should have the vertical angle if I don't then it's not working uh, so I shall grab you I shall need you to connect to the test display. Right there, excellent. Right, clear that. I shall alias the display to D0 and we shall start and yield and I shall load into R0 from the DB housing. Uh, either connection, we we'll use zero, channel zero, and we shall save to the display setting R zero, and jump back to the start. That's it. Just read it in from the cable, and send it back to the display. Uh, if I had a chip, uh, yoink! I said yoink. So now, if I put you into there, export you, I should have the... Aha! We got it! Okay, now I can use that to switch on the vents at night time. Uh, so, I shall need... Run the cables over there. I shall need another transformer. Uh, yep. So I shall want a transformer. I'll want another housing. And I need a memory as well. Because I'll need to connect it into the into the main main power cable because this will be out on its own. Uh, and a chip. A housing. Right, now main power cables. So I've got to get power out to my ore production. I've got to get power up to that. I run it up the wall here. I can run it through the roof. Ooh, from across this side, I could run it along there and go through to that. That might be the best way to do it. Ah, uh, right. So that, one of them. Oh, 
I shall need to weld you up. Let's just start making things happen. Uh, right, you are all semi-walled up. Well, apart from the big hole in the wall. Uh, now, I put a. Uh, let's put it in just here for now. That'll do. And I don't have any of the other stuff. So get rid of you. Put you away. Right, get rid of you. Probably done with you for the time being. Now, power. I might grab some consoles and some gas displays. Got them. Okay, so I'm going to put up a circuit there. I'll have main power coming in the top. I can hook up my memory with that. I can have my chip there, hook the power up through to that, up to the tanks, read the tanks, power through all of them. Choo choo there. That might do it. I want to hook up you. You, you, you. You, you, you. We go. Get up to you. Oh, into the vent. Um. Um. Oh, maybe I'll go through. That's going to be an open frame. I'm allowed to go through open frames. <coughs> uh, right. Put you there. 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 And you. They're all hooked up. We need to hook up you, you, and that's everything for now. So, oh, well, apart from the heavy cable. You. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's do something equally pointless. Well, oh, I've already got them. Come through to war. That uh, now I've got nothing else going forward, so going forward's not going to help anything. I've got to go through there. I'm going to take that all the way. Make sure I leave myself enough cables to finish hooking it up. I'll take you all the way. Yep, yep. Okay, that one's meant to go down there. Bring you all the way out to the back. We should be good. You can come down 
Uh, yeah, that'll do us. You come down this way. Uh, I can run the cable straight up here. Uh, that will allow me to put some control chips, my alarm and stuff, in here. I'll put a heap of chips in there. They can control my base and other setups. Uh, and they'll need to hook to the main power cable, so I'll have that there for them. Right, now, I think that's connected to everything. Never mind all the frames I've just broken. Uh, you, you, we all connected. Right here. Oh, so if that's connection zero, that'll be connection one. We've got to read off that one. And things will be looking all right. Now I should have you and you. And some glass sheets. Right. Okie dokie, you're done. Uh, oh, glass panels. I had to put them on the uh, solar panels, didn't I? As they're sitting out there in the sun. Oop. Okay, they're all done. I've got the other ones. We've got the other ones. That's alright. Okay. Now it's getting dark. I'd better hurry up and write this. So we need a script in there. Uh, that is all connected. It's all connected. You have power. Here's minus 35 degrees, so let's switch that on. We're good. Now I can put you into there you should be the temperature of the small tank and you can be the pressure of the small tank uh, there's not much pressure in there but it's night time it's just started it's got two tanks and it's pretty low pressure here so if we want to fill our base we have well, the two kilopascals of pressure here we want to finish fill it up to 75 uh, I think it's about three kilopascals during the day once it's warmed up. So we're going to fill it up to 75. So to fill one cell of base in here, I've got to suck the gas out of 25 cells of uh, world space. And uh, because that's 95% carbon dioxide, that uh, means I have to fill up uh, 20 times that. Uh, so it's... Uh, we say 25, so that's 400 and 450 cubes to fill one cube of oxygen and nitrogen. So it's going to take a little while. Now I've got more than one cube of space in here, so it's going to take a little while to fill that up. But it'll do what it has to do. Uh, so you can get out there. Now I need you. Uh, so, I clear, I shall alias the vent to D0 and alias the memory to D1. Probably won't be using the memory for anything other than just to read the, uh, read the base. Oh, can I transmit down the, down the pipes? Ah, uh, right, we'll see. Uh, it's a thought there. Well, half a thought anyway. Uh, we shall start. Let's finish what we're doing. Yield. Give it a chance to work. Now we shall load from the memory. What did we say? Channel 1? Uh, well, on connection 1. Channel 0. Oh, and I had to read it into R0. 
not zero. Right, and I shall save to the DB housing uh, the setting uh, zero and jump to the uh, if I can spell it, start. Um, I export you, so I need the vent and the memory. I think you are the power vent and the logic memory. So if I yoink that in there, I should have the angle there. I do. Okay, so that is working. Now, I think all we had to do from that one there is say when it was greater than uh, 110 degrees, as we did on the other base, it was set greater than uh, set R0 if the angle is greater than 110. Whoop. We want it to come on when it is night time, so the vertical angle is greater than 110. Uh, we set it at 90 degrees, it got a bit warm by the end of that, so we'll keep it cool. Set it at 110 and save event on R0. I think that's all we need. Um, export you. Yoink. Here we go. We're at 150, so you should be on, which you are. Switch you off, you should switch back on again, which you do. Nice. So that will allow that to start doing its thing. Uh, we've got two megapascals in there, which should be our liquefaction pressure for the carbon dioxide. And probably the pollutant at that temperature too. No, just the carbon dioxide. Okay, but nitrogen is up to 8%, where it is only, well, 2% out here. So it is definitely going up. And I should have a heap of liquid carbon dioxide coming out here. Or it's not forming any fog, but yeah, there it is. Right, that is doing its thing. Uh, better paint it. Um, so that is uh, breathing gas. Uh, white. Right, it's nitrogen as well. It's not really oxygen. It's it's both. Um. Yeah. That'll do. I'm probably going to use pollutant as a refrigerant later on, so I don't want to use yellow as a pipe colour for that one. I could use yellow as a breathing gas. Or khaki. Yeah, that'll do for now. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so you're there. You are doing your thing. What was I going to do? I was going to do an experiment. we got to do, can I use the pipes? If I've got pollutant in there or any liquid in there, can I send that signal down the pipe, tell other things not to use it? Uh, so we have our experimenting chamber in here. Right, so let's use it. Uh, tidy you up. Uh, so, if I grab, grab a couple of computers, uh, I need some transformers. Um, right, so if I use volume pumps, can I send a signal down the pipe from one to the other? Now, the pipes do have... Uh, um, volume. So they do have connections for the pipe input and output. I should be able to send a signal down the pipe. I've tried it before, but I found out that was because I was doing it from a uh, atmospherics unit and they can't use data signals. So, yeah, that didn't happen. Oh, wow, these things take a long time to print. If I put you there, doink, um, 
Big power, so I need to get a transformer in you and you. Ah, uh, so these pipes will need to connect them together, of course. Uh, you. Done. Screwdriver for you. I'll need a programming card. When you're ready. Um, editor boards. I use these a lot of messing around there, so I don't like faffing around with the laptop on these ones. Let's just build something up. Uh, go there. Go there. Grab you and uh, transformers. A couple of them. Wink. You and you. Uh, transformers, I need some chips. Yoink. Uh, housings. Now, get you, you, to hook them up to power. They have to be on separate circuits just to prove that it is working. Link, you. And on. And on for you. Uh, where'd my cable go? Never mind, I found some. Uh, so I need to hook you up. You. Uh, you. You. Put a chip in there. And there. Uh, close. I uh, probably need a display to display the answer on. I could use the housing. Um, you, 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 and cables. You, you. Uh, I probably need. I'll grab a dial so I can actually have something to send a signal on. you a that's called a switch and a console and a chip right now experiment time One to there. Switch you on. Switch you on. Oh, you don't have a chip. Yep, fair point. One of them. One of them. Put like a dial. One of them. Right, you're good. Now. Right. So, what I should have, not quite there yet. Like, so I need the pipe and the dial. So, alias the, whoop, pump to D0, and alias the dial to D1. Uh, sure, load in. Uh, let's try a start. And a yield, and I shall load into R0 from the dial, the uh, setting. And I shall save to the pump, um, the output. Pipe output, which is 0. That's the output, yep. Now if we set you to channel zero, 
oh, set connection zero on channel zero. Oh, uh, we save R zero, the value that's in the dial. And jump to the start. Um, so I need the volume pump and the dial. Uh, export U and no dice, number six. Um, uh, that's right. Zero. Okay. Um, maybe it doesn't work. If I try the connection, does it work? Like connection two. Two, confirm, export. Oh, right. That's not a problem with my code. I think it doesn't work talking on the pipes. Because if I try the code to, to communicate through the data connection, it works. If I try a different connection, the connection on the pipe, it doesn't work. So I did want to send uh, the data from the tank through the pipe, so then anything connected to the pipe will know whether or not there's pollutant or any liquids in there. So it'll know whether or not it's safe to use, but I can't do that by the looks of it. Um, Okay, so I don't need that then. Well, there's no point reading it then, is there? Well, ass. Um, well, so much for experiments then. Uh, am I doing it right? That, that is how it's done, isn't it? I'm not just getting it wrong. When they implemented that a long time ago, have they just not finished building it yet, or...? Well, I thought that was the way it was meant to work. Well, it's got the data connection for the pipe there, and you can't use data. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. But, um... Anyway. Uh... What was I doing? I haven't hooked up my power. Uh... Well, I'm not going to get any production done today. I've got the uh, the vents hooked up, if that's uh, any sort of a consolation there. Well, let's have a look at our power. I need to hook up the generator. So let's, um, well, I've got plenty of power. I don't really need to hook it up. Uh, so if we grab you, import you. So I can hook up a flip-flop for the generator. Whoops. Uh, come down to there. So I have loaded in the power setting. So we know how much power is in there. So if I hook up a flip-flop switch on that one, so I shall branch uh, less than. Uh, so if the setting R0 is less than say 10, less than 10%, uh, let's try branch relative. Branch relative, if it's less than 10%, uh, skip the next line. If it's greater than 10%, save to the generator, switch it off. Right, now we'll branch relative greater than so if the power is greater than 5%, skip the next line. If it's less than 5%, save the generator on 1, switch it on. So if it's greater than 10%, it should switch it off and then skip that line because it's greater than 10%. Uh, if it's less than 5%, It'll skip that line and switch the generator on. If it's between those two, it should just skip both of them there. If the generator's on, leave it on. If the generator's off, leave it off. Uh, so that should be controlling 
that. Um, export that. No errors. Excellent. And I should be able to go and switch my generator on and it should switch off because I am not in the right power range. Uh, if I can reach it. There we go. Yep, switches off. Now I want to test and see if it's got any coal in it. That'll be one thing. Maybe set an alarm if the power is running low. I want to be able to set that. Maybe change the colour of that as well. Yeah. Alright, so I shall need to <laughs> alias the uh, light in here as well. D3. Uh, and alias the, the colour, spelt wrong, to R11. Try that. Right, so we know what the power is. We've still got the power loaded up here. So I shall uh, uh, set, set less than if the power set R1, if the power R0 is less than, I don't know, 20%. We can give a a warning on the well a, a low power. I give a warning. Maybe I will. If I say less than five percent, uh, maybe I give. You, all right, let's change my mind again. So if our power is between say fifteen and ten. I might not be enough to give us much warning. So once it gets down to 10%, it'll switch the generator on. So if it is less than 10%, uh, that's bad. It shouldn't be getting to that. Uh, so we want to give it a low power warning. So uh, I will confirm. Let's get our sound alert. We should put out a low power message. Power low, 23. Yeah, so we shall select um, R1. Uh, so select the color. That's not really a color, it's an alarm, isn't it? Ah, we'll call it color. Now I'll call it alarm. 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 Right, so the alarm will be uh, based on R1. If it is true less than 10, we will put out a uh, yellow light uh, with 23 as our sound, which is a low power. If it is above that, we should just call it green with no message. Uh, so we'll put in a coded message there. The first digit will be the color of the light that we have our warning light for, and the other two will be the message we play. So two will be a green light with no message. That will be a yellow light uh, with message 23. Now we can test that, say, uh, if we've run out of coal, so I can say, so we're finished with the power. I can reuse R0 now. Oh, I could, we could have reused it there. Anyway, focus. Uh, so now we shall set, I shall load, load, load slot into R0 from the generator. Uh, slot zero, which will be the input slot, um, occupied, I think that's what it is. Uh, so if it is not occupied, so now we shall 
select the alarm based on R0. If it is occupied, don't worry about it, just keep whatever alarm we've got. If there's nothing in there, we want to say red alert, which will be a color four, and what message do we want? Uh, call it low, low power again. Or do we have to give it a warning? Not a danger, just a warning perhaps. The 16. Uh, so, 416. Whoops. 416 will be our alarm. Okay. Confirm that. Whoops. We exported. Doing. I should have zero. I didn't write it to the memory, did I? Ha ha ha. So, uh, save memory. Ugh, I'm not even close. Uh, memory setting alarm. Right, try now. Oh, that's because I haven't got any coal in there, isn't it? Uh, get me some coal. Uh, um, that's not going to help there. Coal, thank you. If I yoink the coal in there, that should get rid of that 416 error. Now it should go back to a 200 error. Which we've got. Okay. I can probably set the colour of that light. So, uh, colour, so just the first digit we want of that. So if I divide that by 100 and then truncate it, it should give me just the light colour. So I can say, uh, divide, divide R zeros alarm divided by 100. And then truncate that. Oops. And save the dis. That's the light. Oh, I can save the display too. Ooh, I can just do it on the display. Display color R0. Um, doink. Export. Yoink. No errors. You're green. Pull that out. Should now go red. Yoink. Now I just need to write something that'll actually read those alarm codes. Aha, see? Gone to red. And it should be saying warning there, but I haven't got anything to read that and say warning, so it's not going to. And that should switch it on when the power gets low. And, um,. We should be safe power wise now. We've got a back we've got a generator backup. Um got that happening. Oof. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Uh, you. That's twenty one percent nitrogen now. That's just be good building up. Liquefying some pollutants. Very good. Uh, right, um, we probably call it progress. <laughs> uh, well, we don't seem to have done much. Uh, we found out that you can't transmit through pipes, or I don't know what I'm doing. Both of them are probably quite equally possible. I put up a light, um, and we started collecting some breathing gas, which we can't put into a room because there's holes in the wall. And I didn't do anything on my production. But other than that, <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh yeah. And, um, my Sphinx is still here, and I have I have finished it off. Yeah, I have finished it because I I, I ha had it on good authority there that your base isn't finished, 
until you put up a gun rack. There's a gun rack. The base is finished. Nice. And I also got this thing here, the flare gun. This is very cool. Oh, shit. It doesn't have a safety on it, but um, it's very cool. If you ever get lost, hmm, I'm sure my base is over here somewhere. I remember leaving it somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How cool is that? It needs a safety on it though. That's dangerous. Yeah. There's Poochie. Now, uh, yeah, where was I? That's right. I was just making excuses for not having done anything. Aha. <laughs> That's cool. Ah, uh, right, but that's about all we got time for. So until next time, happy building. See ya.